Aiden Ross is one of the top streamers slash internet celebrities in the last several years, with major cosigns from your favorite rappers to sports celebrities such as Bronny James. He was definitely riding on a high horse, but it all seems like it's crashing down in the past couple days. Much like the Kanye breakdown that we saw earlier in 2022, the Aiden Ross decline is pretty crazy to watch firsthand because it seems like he's just losing his mind and losing everything that he spent years working for in a matter of days. From getting banned 8 times on the Twitch platform before finally getting a total permanent ban, Aiden Ross's career is at a major standstill and it's looking like it might be entirely his fault man. We gotta get into everything that this man did to get banned from you know showing a whole lot of inappropriate stuff on stream on a whole different website and a lot of other tweets and things that he basically posted in the last couple days that has his whole fan base and a lot of other people wondering and scratching their heads like man why did you just lose everything over some dumb shit man let's get into it right now but before we do i'm gonna need you to like comment subscribe we're gonna run up this video man check out the merch link in the description at staysafeworld.com we're gonna get into it man let's go man the aiden ross situation is something that's super crazy you know he's definitely had his fair share of controversy he's really out here on super bowl sunday niggas can suck my dick but it seemed like over the past couple weeks he just doesn't care you know he has had a number of issues throughout his streams that has gotten him banned you know racking in at least eight different bands it's like twitch gave him so many chances but he still managed to fuck it up honestly i don't even understand how that they even allowed him to even be on the platform this long you know, it seemed like the very first incident that sort of called people into question was when he was caught saying the N-word. Xbox message, niggas can see it though, that's the thing. And it definitely came out like someone that habitually is a white dude that says the N-word, you know? And a lot of people sort of paid it no mind, they didn't really care, especially because he was giving his platform for a lot of rappers and stuff. And you know, some people look kind of questionable at it, but at a certain point, he definitely had some people raising their eyebrows but you know all the rappers that he had on his broadcast and stuff like that he definitely allowed people to look past the whole situation and not really you know question it but it seems like over the past couple months like stuff has sort of gone in different directions you know from sort of like associating with fringe internet people such as andrew tate and sneeko he sort of went down that whole conspiracy rabbit hole and around the time when he was starting to talk about getting an interview with Kanye during Kanye's anti-Semitic shit, it seemed like he was going to be one of those provocateur type people that just provoked the internet's reaction to different types of subjects and stuff just for the sake of people doing it. But the thing is, you got to walk a thin line with that. People don't tend to notice that Andrew Tate is, is one of the biggest people in that type of realm. But I wouldn't even say Andrew Tate really even be saying stuff that's that controversial compared to what Aiden really be talking about. Because Andrew Tate talks about different stuff. But that's like the closest direction that we can really say. Like, the closest comparison would definitely be Andrew Tate and his whole situation. But the main difference between Andrew Tate and Aiden Ross is that Aiden Ross came up playing video games and was, you know, just kind of like a figure in that world. You know, Andrew Tate was doing this type of provocative shit from the jump. And on top of everything, he never really had a social media presence that was his own. He used other accounts to post his information. And so in case he, there's no way that he's going to get banned when all these other accounts are reposting him. You know, that's the one thing that Aiden Ross definitely did wrong and that he really fucked up because Twitch was his biggest platform and biggest breadwinner and he for some reason decided to go against all types of guidelines and it's a lot different when you're a large streamer like Aiden like you're not just like some dude that's underground in a basement somewhere in Ohio that no one's ever heard of like this dude has hundreds of thousands of impressionable kids on there and it definitely affects him man so as we keep going fast forward past the whole Kanye drama he doesn't actually get the interview or anything 
and multiple situations where he gets swatted by monkey mafia and all that shit and we get closer to this week and what has basically been going down so there was another inward scandal i don't even think he really apologized for it so that should have been where everyone should have stopped and reevaluated what was going on because it's like if the dude really didn't care that much that he had to say nigga on his stream in front of his fans and promoting a whole thousands of young white kids who are impressionable to do that type of behavior man then that should have been a major red flag because continue past that he starts getting into the weird realm of like different weird shit that's going on i don't even know really where to start for this coming week because he did a lot in the last couple weeks he, it, it's so bad that he basically went to the levels of kanye when he lost two billion dollars almost in a week you know aiden ross started going crazy and then he, for some reason he got on the basically competitor of twitch kick and i think he was apparently paid to get on kick and it makes sense i mean kick sound seems pretty cool seems like a dope concept actually it's like i think the creators get 95 percent of the revenue compared to five percent and that's what they split with kick but the one thing about kick is it's actually less regulated than tiktok i mean one dude heel mike basically got head while on kick which is some crazy shit but Aiden Ross took it upon himself and streamed porn to his hundreds and thousands of, you know, teenage users and stuff. And that was sort of the, the start of his downfall. Why he thought that was a good idea, I guess he was trolling and thought that it was funny. He said he didn't even like porn, never watched it, never jerked off. He was a man of God or some shit like that. Man, it's kind of like an act at this point. You know, I was fucking with him, but then he started getting on this weird tangents about everything. And then... That in itself apparently was a major reason that Twitch actually banned Aiden Ross, which totally makes sense. I mean, it wasn't even on his platform of Twitch, but you know, he's such a big person and the people and the head people of Twitch definitely know who he is. So any type of behavior like that, they're like, yo, imagine that happens on Twitch. We can't let that happen. We're a family friendly app. And it's crazy because Aiden Ross has basically been speaking out against hot tub streamers and stuff like that for the longest, you know, coming out against them. So the fact that he went this crazy and was actually fucking doing this, posting porn, is honestly something that who would have even thought, you know? It was kind of weird, honestly. Like, it was kind of like, why? Like, did you think that that was a good idea in the first place? It seems like something that's mad stupid. Like, you really have nothing else better to do than to post porn. Like, man, it was it was mad weird. But fast forward past that stuff. A couple days after that, basically yesterday, Aiden goes on a crazy ass rant on Twitter where he basically says there are two genders. You know, we're not going to get into a whole biological debate, but basically when you're saying that there's two genders you basically i mean it's this dude didn't even know what the definition of fascist was means you are a far right authorization on you on ultra does it ultra ultra so honestly if you're taking biological advice from aiden ross you need to jump into traffic you know the closest street that you could find that's a hundred percent but he despite the fact that he doesn't really know biology or anything like that he it's basically a diss to the trans community saying that like there's only two genders and stuff and it's at the end of the day you know those type of shit doesn't really concern any of us at the end of the day if people want to be identified as a shovel or some shit like why does it even affect this dude aiden ross you know apparently i guess he's a man of god or some shit like that but you know he totally fucked up his money in doing so because it's like you could disagree with them you could do whatever but it's like at the end of the day if you're gonna openly say it and not really have any factual evidence or really bring anything to the table you're just hating just for the sake of hating obviously people in bigger companies why in the fuck would they want to work with you when you're the type of person that's just gonna get like it's just unneeded controversy and it's really gonna mess up your money and that's the thing with the internet like the internet you could go in some type of edgy direction like that but then when you go too far over the edge man you'll know when you get too far because his own fans were starting to hate on him and dissing him and they're like why is he even doing this you know like why when you get all these blessings did this man destroy all this stuff it's definitely the kanye symptoms you know, like getting everything that you ever wanted and then losing it in a week just for the sake of doing it. I feel like these dudes get so well off and so rich and so much money off this shit that they literally lose touch with reality, you know? But I feel like it's different than the 
Andrew Tate situation because I feel like Andrew Tate, like the stuff that he was saying, like yeah, it was some offensive stuff, but I feel like he never, like I feel like the only people, I mean, it's it's still messed up, but he was definitely so so towards like women and stuff, but it wasn't like he was straight up abruptly attacking them in the same type of way, like for no reason, like. I feel like that's why he kind of has a fan base of people that are kind of fried, but Aiden Ross, it's not really, I've seen some people come out and defend him, but it's not like it's anyone that is of substance, man, but, you know, it's kind of crazy, because it's like, it's so many parallels to Kanye West and his scenario that went down, that it's like, you know, something that we should definitely look at and study in the future and be like, this is the fastest way to destroy your career, man. But, hey, let me know in the comments what you think about that shit, man. Make sure you check out the merch, too, at staysafeworld.com. You already know what's going on. Real stay safe shit. You already know, man. Peace.